Hematospermia is a condition characterized by the presence of blood in the semen, and it can be a cause of significant concern and anxiety for the man and his partner. In the next few minutes, I'm going to provide you with an overview of hematospermia, its potential causes, treatment options, and how we diagnose it. Hi, I'm Dr. Kent DeLay, a board-certified urologist practicing in South Carolina. I use this channel to educate my audience on issues relevant to urology and men's health. If you enjoy this video, please like and subscribe and turn on notifications so that you can see future content as it is released. First and foremost, it's important to understand that hematospermia is not a rare condition. In fact, it's a relatively common urologic complaint and can occur at any age. While the presence of blood in the semen can be alarming, it is important to remember that in the majority of cases, it's not a sign of a serious medical condition. Nonetheless, a man with blood in the ejaculate or hematospermia should see a urologist to rule out serious causes. Let's review the organs involved in the production of ejaculate and the potential causes of hematospermia. These include the testicle, the epididymis, the vas deferens, the ejaculatory duct, the seminal vesicles, and the prostate. So what are all these things? The testicle is self-explanatory for the most part, but this is the male sex organ where sperm are produced and testosterone is formed. The epididymis is a structure on the back of the testicle, which is a bunch of coiled tubes where sperm is stored after production. The vas deferens is a tube which transports sperm through the scrotum and into the body. The seminal vesicle is a small gland above the prostate which make fluids which nourish sperm. The seminal vesicle and the vas deferens come together to make the ejaculatory duct. After these form the ejaculatory duct, this duct transverses the prostate, which is another gland which makes fluid which nourish sperm and help with their transport out of the body. There are a number of possible causes of hematospermia. Frequently, we don't find a specific cause and the blood resolves on its own. Broadly speaking, these are the causes that we most commonly see. One, inflammatory or infectious. Two, calculi or stones. Three, cystic. Four, obstructive. Five, systemic. And six, tumoral or cancer. Number one, inflammatory or infectious is usually prostatitis or epididymitis. This can be non-infectious inflammation or from a bacterial infection. Most patients with repeated hematospermia will receive antibiotics which would treat these possible sources. Stones in the bladder or stones within the prostate can also be a source of blood in the ejaculate. If there is blood in the urine, this would prompt imaging which would identify any bladder stone. Stones within the prostate itself don't normally require treatment unless there are significant urinary issues. Bladder stones usually do require treatment, however. A number of types of cysts within the prostate can cause blood in the ejaculate, but these are almost always benign and don't require any further intervention. Obstructive causes. These can include a urethral stricture, which is scar tissue which can build up and block the urethra, or an enlarged prostate. Enlarged prostates can have large, fragile veins on the surface which can break and bleed during ejaculation. Systemic causes include platelet disorders and clotting factor disorders which can make us more predisposed to bleed. And finally, the last category, cancers, are rare, but the most common types of cancers which could cause hematospermia include those of the prostate, testicle, or bladder. And we would usually find these on laboratory testing or a physical examination. It's important to know that about 90% of cases of hematospermia will self-resolve in a month or so. That means by the time a lot of patients reach the urologist, they're no longer actually having blood in their semen. So how do I, as a urologist, evaluate blood in the ejaculate? It's actually quite simple. I do a history to assess for symptoms and other health conditions which could impact this disorder. I check a urine specimen on all men to see if there are signs of infection or blood in the urine. And I do a physical examination, which almost always will include the testicles, penis, and prostate. In men 40 or over, I will draw a PSA which is a test used to screen for prostate cancer. If the blood has persisted, I will often treat with antibiotics such as doxycycline, which would clear out any atypical bacteria which might not show up on a UA or urine culture. 
if after this there are persistent uh, symptoms, including persistent blood, I would get an MRI to rule out lesions or cancer of the prostate. If we find blood in the urine during our evaluation, we would work this up appropriately with a CT scan and a cystoscopy where we run a small scope into the bladder. It's important to remember that unless you see blood in the urine at the same time you're seeing blood in the ejaculate, this is rarely, once again, a sign of a serious medical condition. Outside of antibiotics, there's only one other medication that I will sometimes use for persistent blood in the semen. That is Proscar, which is the brand name for finasteride, which is a drug which shrinks the prostate and reduces the density of blood vessels in the prostate. And for this reason, it can sometimes be helpful for stopping hematospermia, which is persistent. I'm cautious about using this medication, however, because it can have sexual side effects. I hope this video was helpful. If it was, please like and subscribe and turn on notifications so that you can see future videos as they are released. Thanks for watching.